All right, this is Master Geo at New York Comic Con 2014 on Sunday with the lovely Asta Parada. How are you doing, Asta? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, how has Comic Con been treating you? Um, it's been pretty awesome. It's really great now that the movie's been out for a while. So, people, a lot of like really hardcore fans have come by with like T-shirts on, like yourself. And I got to meet the Sasuke sisters, which was amazing. And uh, I really hope to work with them one day. And we have a lot of great merch this year, so it's been really fun. I really like it. All right, how was shooting the the vol volume one and two? It was it was like working with um, a bunch of crazy cult family members, and it, I it still still tremors, you know, a year later. But um, I love everybody that I worked with. We made some real art. A lot. It was all original material to work with, and uh, I love working with Lloyd because he just encourages you to be bold. So I wasn't able to do anything unless I was committed to it fully. And that was great because I had to, you know, prove my shit to Lloyd every day and that was fun. So. How comfortable or was it to shoot the sex scenes in the movie? It was actually really comfortable because um, Catherine and I spent about a month and a half doing callbacks together. So we already knew each other pretty well. And by the time we were ready for it, we were both Game of Thrones fans. So the idea of nudity was like not like a huge, huge deal. And we also like knew how we wanted it to be shot, and we thought, you know, these characters are horny teenagers, and let's have fun with it. But um, it was just acting. As much as I love Katie, <laughs> we were both just acting, and um, it was weird at some points because they turned off the audio, so Lloyd would be yelling, and they'd be shooting, and like grab her boob and all the stuff. But it's very mechanical, but that's what acting's for. So right, right, right. Yeah. What about working with the special effects? How was that? It was really fun because we had some amazing special effects. Uh, we have the people from Aftermath effects like Kaylee Brown and JC Jason Cott and um, Lisa Forrest and Drew Balduk and Michelle Lombardi. Um, they all worked on it together in different parts, like the monsters and the effects. And Kaylee um, actually worked on my penis, so she actually had to hold it up for the bed scene, and um, I was so scared I was going to crush her. Um, but like Ron Jeremy was on set when I had that on, so it was really funny. But they made it really fun and easy, and it was new for everybody. And I mean, it's part of the world of trauma, so it comes to the territory. Without revealing too much, what can you tell us about Volume Two? Volume Two is uh, the payoff because Volume One is a lot of exposition, a lot of the setup. Uh, volume Two is just everything tangentially awesome that can come from the setup of Volume One. Um, I like to call it Trauma Organic Strikes Back. Um, it does have kind of that epic uh, Star Wars Holy Trinity Ooh. feel to it um, without giving thing, anything away. But um, Christy Goldberg, I fancy her a bit of a Padawan. So, you know, that, that pays off in volume two. And it also pumps up all that commentary on social, political satire. And uh, yeah, so. About when do you think it'll be out? Um, we're shooting to do it, uh, premiering at the Cannes Film Festival in May. So that's hopefully going to be there, but we're shopping it around at AFM and um, we'll more than announce it when it's fully ready. But we're perfectionists and we don't have the studio pressuring us. Right, so. Right, right. so what else have you been up to? Um, I just recently worked on Sociopathia, which is a great uh, film that is produced and directed by uh, Rich Mallory and Ruby LaRocca, who's an amazing scream queen as well. Um, and has a lot of great scream queens like Tammy Jean, Tammy Jean, uh, Nicola Fiore, um, and just like tons of amazing people. Uh, Tabitha Ray is in it, and she's a really great up and comer. She uh, and I got to have a few scenes together. But it's kind of like Maniac meets American Mary, and uh, I told the Soska sisters about it, and they were really excited about that. Um, but that'll be coming out probably within the next year. And um, yeah, I don't want to say too much until it's official, but it, it was really fun to work on. And I also worked on a short um, with people I met from Cannes, and uh, just a few web series coming up. So it's been a really fun year for me. All right. Do you have anything else coming up? Um, just a couple web series, and then I'm working on a treatment for um, a piece that I'm producing, so we'll see about that. All right. Well, any final words? Um, if you want to know more about me, uh, you can go to my website. It's www.astapardes.com, astapardes.com. I keep updated pretty regularly, and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Uh, Troma, keep on Troma.com for all their updates, and uh, yeah. Hey. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem.